Hello guys, it's me Zane and today I'm gonna do what internet wants me to do. Oh. Therefore, I'm gonna rip out my Phalaenopsis orchid. Okay, so this Phalaenopsis orchid right here in my hand is one of those flowers. Well, they are part of a project which I will post soon and also I made a video about it. This one was the Phalaenopsis with the black flower black flowers, you know, it, it, they were really dark. And today, bitch, we're gonna repot it. <laughs> there are no more flowers on this flower spike. The orchid is so wobbly in this pot that I'm sure that the root system is shit. <laughs> shake your booty, girl, shake your booty, yeah. But it's not gonna be a usual repot. I will be following this orchid girl. <laughs> okay, so you know this YouTube phenomenon called I tried following someone's tutorial? Well, that's what I'm gonna do. I know this thing is already over. Guess what? This bitch gonna do it because I want to have fun with that. Here is my laptop, but you cannot see it this time since I need space to work. Let's type Miss Orchid Girl Repot. How to repot the fun of this orchid part one. Guess what? I need that. Okay, so this is good, but only the I'm just gonna use only the ending because the fallen of this orchid is in a clay pot and my fall is a newly bought fall. So bitch we gonna find another video. Hi everyone, it's Danny from Hi, Orchid Danny. Nature, and many of you still ask me questions regarding oh, this the Phalaenopsis orchid. Okay, I need a newer video. This is just too old. This is not corresponding to the current weights. Gentle Repot, Neophinicia falcata, Sick Nelly Eilers, Big Dendrobium, Kalea, Tall Dendrobium. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna start with a semi-hydro tutorial and finish it with a non-semi-hydro tutorial. Hey guys, it's Danny. Oh shit, oh shit, I totally f***ed up because I need my earphones. Well, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if you could not hear anything. And pretty much we will proceed by simply unpotting the orchid from its whole pot in medium, just like- Okay. Okay, here is my working tray and here is my orchid. Now let's continue. Like we would in a normal repotting. See this root right now it's stuck here but it's a dead root so I don't really care much for damaging it. Okay, pulling out the orchid from the rib from the pot. That's what I shall do. Oh wow. The root system is not too extensive in my case. And behold, this is my orchid. Well this is mine. <laughs> Let's try to remove this sphagnum moss layer from the root ball. The moss is already wet. That's so what I, I shall do. You're doing it so fast. Wait for me, Miss Orchid. Wait for me. I, I don't need this stick, whatever. And I should remove this plug thing from the root system. I don't want to ruin, I don't want to break any of the roots because, well, there are not too many roots. <laughs> okay, Miss Orchid girl, I'm ready. Let's continue. And the poor orchid really didn't like that moss. Look at these roots. Well, very yeah, stunted, look at these roots. Short. The root damage occurs. Bark attaches to roots very, yes, very well. Yes, I see. Deep. It will create wounds most of the times. Okay, now let's create some wounds on my fun of this orchid root system by removing the bark chips. That here we have a piece of root. Okay, I'm not interested in learning new things because I already know this. Please continue in repotting. So I have here a sterilized pair of pruners. How I sterilize my... I have it too. You should always have parent supervision if you're underaged. So I'm not underage, that. bitch. Cut the papery sections. That's what this I should do. So let's remove the papery sections. Okay, this is a papery section and it's clearly dead. So let's remove this shitty root. We don't need that because Miss Orchid Girl said so. This is a papery section and Miss Orchid Girl said it has to go. So bye bitch. Now, Miss Orchid Girl, what do you have to say? Okay. I'll also throw away this thing, sterilize my working table and come back with some hydrogen peroxide. The way Oh shit, now that's a lot of work to do. So right now I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna throw out everything, which is garbage here. And I'm gonna sterilize my working tray and wash off everything from this orchid. So I'll be right back. Well, okay guys, I am back and let's continue the repotting. I sterilize my working tray here. Me too. With a paper tissue. 
and oh shit back. oh shit i'm not gonna show you that because i already did that and i'm lazy spray them with hydrogen peroxide three percent which i purchased from the pharmacy and i okay. poured into my little spray bottle okay. i'm using hydrogen I did the same. I purchased hydrogen peroxide in the local pharmacy and I put it in this spray bottle. Well, if that's not following the tutorial, I don't know what is. <laughs> and also without roots, new roots. And okay, spraying the orchid. I'm interested in spraying the orchid. You actually buy it from the human pharmacy. So I'm gonna spray the... The human pharmacy? Well, is there another pharmacy? Like animal pharmacy? Well, I guess there is. I might be just stupid here. <laughs> the entire word system. Okay, wait for me. Miss Orkin, can you wait for me? I don't want to do that. Without you. And that's about enough. So when no, this substitute... No, no, please stop. Wait for me, okay? Okay, spring, 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 spring. Kill the bush snails. Kill the bush snails. Since touches organics, it starts to fizz. You might Yeah, it starts to fizz. Thing. Okay, let's let's check it out if it's fizzing. Where is the mic on my camera? I don't know. Can you hear that it's fizzing? I'm not sure about that, but you have to believe me, it's fizzing. Side on your wound, it starts to fizz a little bit. It, yes, it really does. kinda hurts. Okay, so I have to share an interesting thing here. When I was throwing out the bark chips, the old medium from this pot. You know what I found? I found Lekka pebbles in it, like real Lekka pebbles. So, well, that's interesting. I've never, ever, ever seen Lekka pebbles in a Phalaenopsis orchid or any other orchid pot, which I just freshly bought from a garden center or something. So that was interesting. But right now we should change the videos since I'm not interested in semi-hydro repot pot or semi-hydro, I don't know how to say this, but I'm interested in clear plastic pot repots. Hey guys, tis Danny. Today yes, I know. With the roots I really want to see rather than the phalaenopsis. With fowls we know, they're okay. We they're have okay. I still want to see the roots, okay? <laughs> I will use what, not white pots but so transparent because I want to see that shit. What I will do now is reuse this medium well i won't reuse the medium since it was organic and i need inorganic shit in this pot so i'm bringing the lacquer bubbles so we have a layer of medium on the bottom of the pot and okay here is my layer oh my god wait for me oh my god i kind of like this leaning over effect that phalaenopsis do it's yes i love the leaning over effect too but please wait for me because i'm not that fast Okay, so here is my layer of medium and also here is my orchid and I don't want to like place it too deep in the pot because I don't want stem rot to happen because that's not good. <laughs> okay, so this is how I will place my orchid inside this pot. Okay, now what to do? Not space saving, but it looks kind of pretty. So, okay. the roots obviously fit inside the pot. Well, so especially these roots. With medium. Okay, that's what I should do. Oh my god! Miss Orchid is done, as you can oh see. Oh my god, Miss Orchid! Oh, that was too fast. Holy Jesus. I'm so slow compared to the video trick Miss Orchid girl. Maybe I see a mealy bug in the crowd, which is not really good, but you know, I will just kill it and that's that. Oh god, I am so slow. I want real life camera tricks in my life right now. Okay, YouTube Magic, I need your help. Okay, now this is what I call YouTube Magic, and this is what I call following a tutorial. I did the same magic. Okay, so I repotted my orchid, and I'm just pulling it a little bit out from the medium because I really don't want stem rot to happen because I don't like it. And, well, neither does the orchid. I want to stabilize this peasant. I'm gonna use the old flower spike, which I would normally cut. Right now, I won't cut it because I want to stabilize this orchid. And I will use the spike for stabilizing. Now, let's attach this something to this spike. And we're gonna be okay. Okay, so I don't need all of the spike to be here because I just like to cut flower spikes on Phalaenopsis orchids, on complex hybrid Phalaenopsis orchids when they are done flowering. So what I will do, well, I will just cut it because I don't like it here. And how can I show you that? Here we go. And that's that. 
Okay, so I'm ready and I followed Miss Orchid Girl. Well, so that's it. Okay, so that was the end of the tutorial. So I guess... I guess I did good. <laughs> well, guys, here is my finished product. And, well, I'm gonna place back this orchid where it was and you will know everything about it soon in a different video. And, well, that's what I called following the tutorial. Repotting a Phalaenopsis orchid like Miss Orchid Girl does. Yeah, everybody does it like that, but you know, I just wanted to make a video. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is my video for today and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, click on the like button. Also, you can leave a comment down in my know it all section below. You can subscribe to this channel, you can subscribe to my other channel and don't forget to push the bell button so you'll get notifications, maybe, maybe not. If YouTube wants to send you notifications, you will get some. Check out my Instagram account and you will find all the links and shit down in the description, description box, description box below. So. See you next time. Bye, guys.